So recall that redox reactions are chemical reactions that involve the transfer of electrons from one atom to another atom. Now this means one atom is oxidized and one atom is reduced. So that means any redox reaction can be broken down into two types of reactions. An oxidation reaction in which an atom loses electrons and a reduction reaction in which atoms gain electrons. So let's look at a very simple redox reaction. So zinc metal reacts with aqueous copper to produce aqueous zinc and metal copper. So let's break this reaction into an oxidation and a reduction reaction. So what gets oxidized? Well, our zinc solid goes from a neutral charge to a plus two charge. That means our zinc loses two electrons. So let's write the um, equation for that. So let's write the oxidation equation. So zinc solid becomes zinc plus two because it loses two electrons. So our oxidation reaction involves the loss of electrons. Now let's write the reduction reaction. In our reduction reaction, our copper gets reduced because it gains to, uh, those two electrons that are lost by the zinc. So our copper plus two gains two electrons plus two electrons, producing a neutral copper solid molecule. So this is our oxidation and this is our reduction reactions. Now these two reactions are each called the half reaction. And the half reaction is simply a way for us to visualize more clearly the transfer of electrons from one atom to another. Because notice in this net reaction there was no transfer of electrons. We couldn't visualize the transfer of electrons. But in these half reactions we have the plus 2e and plus 2e. So this is simply a better way for us to see the movement of electrons. Now, to go back to our net reaction, net redox reaction, what we simply do is we add up the two half reactions. So we add up the two half reactions by first adding up all the molecules on this side and then add up all the molecules on this side. So zinc solid plus aqueous copper plus two electrons gives us this, produces everything on this side. So zinc or, or aqueous zinc plus copper solid plus our two electrons. Now notice one thing that two electrons appear on this side and on this side and that means by using simple algebra we just cross these guys out. We subtract 2e and what we get is our final net reaction. So that means no electrons appear in the net reaction ever and that's because the number of electrons released by our oxidation reaction is equal to the number gained by our reduction reaction so whatever is gained must be lost somewhere and that's the conservation of energy